Hi, I'm Ruby from sunny Southern California. Today is September 27th, and you'll be watching a clip that's part one in a series of videos in which you'll learn to create your very own vintage style kitchen apron, like the one you see here on the dress form. Okay? So in this video, you're going to learn how to cut out all the pattern pieces for your apron. So the supplies that you're going to need are your fabric shears, you're going to need some fabric weights, you're also going to need some pins to help guide you, you're going to need, of course, your pattern pieces, and the fabric that you'll be using. And in our case, we're going to be using three different types of fabrics. We're going to be using the main fabric, which is for the heart and the skirt. We're also going to be using a solid color fabric for the backing of the heart and the skirt. And you're going to use your contest fabric for the neckties, the waist ties, and the trim. Okay? So let's get started. First off, you're going to need to have a hard, flat, working surface area. So, um, we're going to start off by cutting the main fabric, which is the heart and the skirt. So, we're going to start with the heart. If you, you're going to take your pattern piece and you're going to fold it in half. Our goal is to save as much fabric as possible, so cutting on the fold allows you to have control over how much fabric you're actually cutting. So you're going to take your main fabric, and you're going to want to just open it up, have the salvage in your hand, and just kind of shake it out on top of your cutting board. Okay, And then you're going to want to fold it over just enough to where you have your heart pattern piece and it fits on the fold. So, just like so. Lie it down flat. Then you're going to need your fabric weight and you're going to set your fabric weight on the fold. Okay, and once you've done that, you're going to get your pins and you're going to pin down each pattern piece. You can use as many pins as you need just to help you feel secure. I'm only going to be using three. So, once I get this bad boy pinned, there we go. Then you're going to want to just help yourself out and just kind of you know, flatten out your fabric just to make sure that there's no bumps, okay? Then you're going to get your fabric shears, and when you start to cut, you're going to want to cut as close to the pattern piece as possible. So just go ahead and cut. Take your time, you know, don't hurry if you don't feel comfortable enough, okay? So once that's cut, you're going to want to leave your pins inside your pattern piece until you're ready to use it. So now we're going to do the same exact thing for the skirt, okay? So just fold it over, grab your skirt piece, and you're going to want to put it on the fold, and then just kind of move it over, bring it back, because you want to save fabric. Okay, there you go. Get your fabric weight, put it on the fold, grab your pins, and again, just pin it down. Once you have it pinned and secure, you're going to want to do the same thing, just kind of flatten it out, gives you a more precise cut. Grab your fabric shears and just cut as close to the pattern piece as possible. It's pretty simple. And this is exactly what you're going to be doing for all of your other fabrics. And so now it's your turn. Give it a try. Thank you. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? 